Here are seven majestic Mexican dog breeds. Number one, the Sholo Eats Queenly. Sholo Eats Queenly, often called the Sholo for short, because let's face it, that's a mouthful. These dogs have been around for more than 3,000 years. They're actually one of the oldest and rarest breeds in the world. What's really unique about them is they're often hairless, although there is a coated variety. Many people say they're great for folks with allergies. The Chihuahua. I'm sure you've heard of the Chihuahua. These little guys are super popular and have a ton of personality packed into a tiny frame. Despite their size, they're super brave and can be really protective of their owners. They're so small you can take them almost anywhere, which is a big plus. The Mexican Hairless Dog The Mexican Hairless Dog is actually another name for the Jolo Eats Queenly, but sometimes people treat them as separate breeds. They're pretty similar, but can differ a bit in size and coat. Like the Sholo, they're often good for people with allergies because of their lack of fur. The Chamuco The Chamuco is a breed that's not officially recognized by many kennel clubs, but it's definitely a Mexican native. They're strong and agile, often used as guard dogs. Despite their tough exterior, they're usually super friendly and loyal to their family. The Calupo now, this one is a mix between a Mexican dog breed and a North American wolf. Yep, you read that right, a wolf. The Calupo is strong and intelligent, often used for herding animals. They need lots of exercise and mental stimulation, so they're perfect for people who love to be active. The Talchichi The Talchichi is actually a variation of the Chihuahua, but it has a really curly coat. It's not an official separate breed, but people in Mexico often consider it distinct. Like the Chihuahua, they're small and full of energy, always ready to play or go on an adventure. The Malinche Dog The Malinche Dog is a mixed breed that's not super well known. It's thought to be a mix of native Mexican breeds and European dogs that came over during colonization. They're usually medium-sized and are known for being really smart and easy to train. If you enjoyed this video, do check out these videos. You will love them too. Hasta la vista!